Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to make this perfect, juicy, delicious rotisserie chicken as you can see here. Um, the picture is not only amazing, the chicken tastes absolutely great, delicious. All the ingredients used in this video will be written in the uh, caption box below. They're easily accessible. I know you can see that thing right there in the middle that looks like ketchup. I promise you it is not ketchup. It is just the way to get your rotisserie chicken skin juicy and, you know, glowing just like ketchup. <laughs> Let's get to it. In a clean bowl, I will be adding some bullion powder some graham masala honestly this is totally optional if you like it you could go ahead and use it i only used a little bit because i don't like it to be too overpowering i'm also going to add in some chili powder and butter all the measurement will be listed in the description box below so you want to go ahead and try to mix your butter in this dry spice mixture um you know mixing it and making sure that you get this consistency here it is important to mix this for quite a while so that the butter and the dry spices could incorporate into each other very well and you just don't have like plain butter in your chicken you have like a very good marinade that will stick on your chicken and give you that crispy chicken skin after mixing for about two minutes you should get this consistency right here i know it looks like the butter is separating from the mixture but this is exactly what you want because this is what will give your chicken skin that ketchup look as we call it if that is what we're going for and it just makes the chicken taste and smell absolutely amazing we're going to be using cornish hen here these are you know household hens as we will call it back home in nigeria but they're usually very delicious they come in very small sizes and that way they take the marinade you're going to go ahead and put in the mixture that we just had and i usually like to start with the inside of the chicken because you know it gives it a little time to absorb the spice while you're working on the outside honestly this method doesn't really require you to marinate the chicken for a long hours but it's really up to you if you feel like you have that time and you want to marinate your chicken you want to cover it and keep it for a few hours in the refrigerator go ahead and do that i guess the longer the better but I did not have to marinate this for too long and as you can see I'm pretty much just trying to put the mixture under the chicken skin going through all of the crevices that I could possibly find um, honestly for me I believe that using my hand helps me do with, without gloves of course makes me do helps me to get a better job done so I'm pretty much just like trying to put my finger under the chicken skin and trying to put as much of the mixture as I can get in because essentially this butter spice mixture mixture will actually help you know to caramelize the chicken skin which is what we're going for and then you just go and rub this give the chicken a good rub put the spice on the outside of the chicken as i am doing here forgive me if i sound super congested while making this voice over because i do have covid and i'm getting over cold but you know we have to do what we have to do <laughs> anyways the next thing that we're going to be doing is breaking some fresh thyme leaves my thyme is not the freshest because it's sat in the fridge for a while but if you do have fresh thyme it would definitely be great put it inside the chicken and i'm also going to go ahead and put in some onion chunks you could chop them smaller if you feel like you want so honestly i just wanted you know my chicken to have that onion flavor and that's why i just use chunks and i'm just putting in my rotisserie stick inside the chicken so i could go ahead and hang it in my air fryer when i'm trying when i'm ready to air fry
Now the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and tie your chicken legs. I find this the most difficult and challenging part of making this rotisserie chicken, but good for you if you have good fingers to tie things. So I am using a dental floss to tie my chicken legs together. As you can see here, whatever works for you. Some people use twines and I'm rolling over my chicken and getting ready to you know rub some eggs on it giving it like an egg wash because the egg wash also adds to give your chicken skin that crispiness i don't know if you're from nigeria and you remember as kids having to eat that mr big's chicken this definitely reminded me of that but the next thing i'm doing in the video is adding some peppers so i like to say use whatever pepper that you have at home i'm also adding in some soya spice because i want to give it that you know homely twist of tasting kind of like soya and of course pork chicken has to go into the oven because how else can we eat chicken if it's not roasted <laughs> so i'm pretty much just putting the chicken into my air fryer i'm actually using the butchie mix air fryer that i recently got i like that it does have this red surrey option as you can see uh but i faced a problem while doing this my chicken wing was floating so i had to pause it for a little bit and then i simply just fixed it by placing some toothpicks inside the wings and you know just like sticking it into the chicken and i did not have any problems after that and my chicken went on to that grilling state it took about 30 minutes max to get this chicken done crisp delicious juicy you can see that butter dripping that is what you want delicious us to my favorite moment to where I get to practice some French and I say bon appétit <laughs> anyways I'm simply just cutting the twines out of my chicken legs so I could go ahead and you know taste the awesomeness of this crispy delicious chicken you have to really say it that way crispy delicious juicy chicken otherwise it is not the perfect rotisserie And that brings us to the end of this delicious, juicy, spicy, tasty rotisserie chicken video. Now, if you did enjoy this video, do make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like, and drop an amazing comment down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. It's amazing to have you all here. Bye!